Here we go, guys, with Frag Pro Shooter Volume 4 Tournament match between Legendary Team Gaming and Nexo. As you can see here, we're going to open up with a quick little ultimate ability from your boy Imperius. This is a very strong ultimate ability, guys, and it's going to be very broken in this particular game mode, which is fireworks. You guys getting to experience that now. I'd love to know your thoughts about this game mode for those playing on the mobile devices. This is interesting. An Inferno change here is very interesting. Now he's going to go Giga Goo for the defense here. Right now, Nexo is starting to get off to a little bit of a lead here, slowly but surely. But looks like this game is far from over. They're trading back and forth here. But right now, Legendary Gaming has to get Nexo off of the towers. Tankbot AI got confused there, causing a little bit of a break there. But he does miss the switch for the offensive attack here. Now he's going to go Inferno again, get the quick Sombrero Frag. Excellent job. As you notice, the rework on Inferno is very good and very strong. He now has to deal with the Crystal from Nexo. Crystal, as you know, in this game mode is ridiculous and you have to be aware of her at all times on the field otherwise you're gonna end up getting splashed that's exactly what you're seeing right now from Nexo the splash damage on top of the Inferno it is a lot to deal with guys so keep this in the back of your head ultimate abilities and fireworks are basically limitless causing for very fast firing throughout Giga Goo on the defense here again from Legendary Team Gaming getting the Dan frag which is awesome pumpkin Pete does get two frags of his own though for Nexo and right now we have about a hundred point difference a little over for these two components right now tank bot though sitting there in that tank form is a threat in this game mode especially he does a lot of damage to towers he does it very quickly but he does have an imperious over here who is going to get another ultimate ability pop here that is a lot of damage from that card guys and he is very 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 strong does look like Pumpkin Pete, though, of Nexo gets the cleanup here. Right now, we're going to see him push up again with Inferno. He's got to get spatial control here. Because right now, the offense from Nexo has been pretty untouchable for him. And that's a lot to deal with. Pumpkin Pete does try to get the alt around him there. But he does get out with the Inferno in time. It missed a couple of shots there. But does end up getting the Dan Frank and the Sombrero cleanup with the Inferno ultimate ability. Which is awesome. Now, here we go again. Tank Bot's pushing up. He's doing a better job navigating through the weeds here a little bit. But this game is still very close. Right now, Legendary Gaming is up about 100 over Nexo. Nexo needs to get back on the offensive and get back to what was working. Here comes the Crystal Splash. He has to focus the player-controlled character here. And if he does that, he's going to cause problems for Team Gaming. Here we go once again, though. Now we have a fight on our hands. The up 100. Imperius pops out again. Back over to Giga Goo here, who's going to rotate over here and try to get a stop on the push that's coming. And it looks like he is going to be in position here to get the Dan... <laughs> But the protection bubble from Dan comes through. That is huge for Nexo. Legendary Team Gaming has to get the frag. He misses the frag. And now there's the rotation over to the offensive side. He has to get a tower in response. He is down 100. Game's about tied. Down 200. Down a 50. And quick switch back to defense. He's got five health on this tower. Pumpkin Pete has pushed over. He has to pop off an ability. He loses another tower. Dead tie. 402 to 402. Nexo and Legendary Team Gaming up. Or sorry, down 70 points. He does pop Imperius all here, though, to try and get a position to intercept Nexo, who's coming up with the Pumpkin Pete. Meanwhile, he's just going for the very easy frags here, and he does get up eventually, and that is a lot to deal with. It is now 31-26. to Legendary Team Gaming does take the win due to Nexo not watching his respawns. GG's, guys. If you have a match you want to see from the tournament, let me know, and we'll get to that next.